especially the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. As soon as we have um, Madam President, us, we will commence the Hello, Shagun. Hello, Shagun. Hello, Shagun, can you hear me? I have Hello. been here since a quarter to 11. You're not looking at your participants' list. I've just been quiet Hello. and my video Hello. was off. So uh, that the Shuma. network, the band doesn't get overloaded with pictures. That's okay, part of what is causing the problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Please go um, ahead. And now yeah. that now that we have the president, now that we have the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, once again, I'm Shegu Alabi, head of corporate communications, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and your anchor for today's event. First, I would like to introduce and warmly welcome the chief host of today's effort making event and president of LCCI, Mrs. Toki Mabogujai. Madam President, it's good to have you here. Thank you, Shegun. It's good to be here. Please proceed. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to welcome and introduce the following officers of the chamber. We have our Deputy President, Mr. Kunut Umay, here present. Also, yeah. good to have you, sir. We have, um, as well, the chief co-host of today's event, vice president and chairperson of membership and welfare committee of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in the person of Mrs. Mujisola Bakari. Good to have you, madam. Good morning. Madam. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Also, we'd like to warmly welcome other ESCO members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry that are present here. Um, Honorary Life Vice President that are present. Uh, membership and Welfare Committee members who are present. Um, the Director General of LCCI, Dr. Muda Yusu, good to have you as well. Members Thank you. Good morning. And and members and intending members here present, other invited guests here present, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you are all welcome. At this point, please permit me to invite the chairperson of LCCI membership and welfare committee, vice president of LCCI, Mrs. Muji Bakari to give the welcome address. Madam Chairperson, over to you, ma. Good morning, thank you. Mrs. Toki Mabogunje, the President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Deputy Presidents here present, Life Vice President here present, Vice Presidents, Fellow Officers and Council Members, Members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to welcome you all to the 2020 first virtual edition of New Members Induction Ceremony. The induction ceremony is very significant to us at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. It is a formal admission of new members into the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry pres prestigious family. I wish to congratulate you for being among the successful companies we are admitting today. Our first virtual onboarding of members is a confirmation of dynamic and innovative approach of the chamber to ensure we keep our members positioned for opportunities in their sectors. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry founded in 1888 is one of the oldest institutions in Nigeria with a membership base of more than 2,300 corporate members covering all sectors of the economy. With a passion to foster the development of a private sector-led competitive economy, anchored on our vision and mission, the Chamber has built enormous goodwill over the years. The commitment of our founding fathers to a strong corporate governance framework and principle is one of the factors that help us to maintain the tempo of excellence 
and continue to push up the frontier of value to our esteemed stakeholders, whilst remaining a role model to other chambers of commerce, as well as a positive reference to business membership organization movement in Nigeria. As a member of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, you are ambassadors of the chamber and inheritors of an enduring legacy handed down from generation to generation. It is therefore imperative for you to be guided by the chamber's governance framework. The governance framework ensures that the chamber represents the broad interests of its members and can be held accountable by members. The chamber adopts the principles of fairness in its governance, selection of its officers and the execution of its programs and activities. The leadership selection and decision-making processes are transparent, fair, equitable to all members. The chamber's governance framework recognizes that members are the foundation of its existence and enable them to act as informed and active owners. The following are some fundamental rights of membership. One, obtain relevant and material information on the chamber on a timely and regular basis. Two, participate and vote in general meetings. Three, become part of the decision-making process closely related to that our basic member responsibilities. Being active in the organization, that's one. Two, paying dues in full and in a timely manner. Three, remaining loyal to the organization and not undermining it. Four, observing the bylaws. One of the strategic imperatives of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, it is policy advocacy programs. The chamber initiates policy conversations and take positions on issues from time to time. We have 24 sectoral groups and relevant service committees to help drive advocacy act activities. Specifically, the responsibilities of sectoral groups and committees include, one, identifying and prioritizing current and emerging problems, two, developing policies and pos positions on issues, three, providing support on policy analysis and communication efforts. In your offer letter, you will find appropriate sectoral groups assigned to you, and I implore you to be actively involved in the group activities. The Chamber is committed to transparency and ensures that timely and accurate disclosure is made on all material matters regarding the Chamber. This includes financial situation, performance, membership and governance. The disclosure rules and scope is consistent with the legal requirements of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Effective chamber governance rests upon an institutional framework that promotes fairness, transparency, accountability, and responsibility in the private and public spheres, consistent with the rule of law. I am of the firm belief that your decision to join the corporate membership of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry is strategic, which will have beneficial impact on your businesses. I welcome you on board immediately. The president inducts you formally today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Sit here, I'm over to you. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson, for that wonderful address. Um, at this juncture, permit me to invite the chief host of today's event and president of LCCI in the person of Mrs. Tokima Bogunje to please give the opening remarks. Madam President, you have the floor. Good morning, everyone. Deputy Good Presidents, morning. Vice Presidents, Chairman, Membership and Welfare Committee, fellow officers and council members, members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
let me join the chairman of the membership and welfare committee in welcoming you to this new members induction ceremony. I congratulate you all on your induction today, which makes you bona fide corporate members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the foremost chamber of commerce and industry in Nigeria and the oldest in the West African sub-region. The chamber is a special place, a business community that is filled with exceptional business leaders and top corporate executives across all sectors of the Nigerian economy. Founded in 1888, the Chamber is a leading voice in the promotion of the private sector interests to facilitate the global competitiveness of the Nigerian economy. The Chamber has championed several initiatives and policy advocacy activities that have resulted in beneficial reforms and outcomes and impacts. I am delighted that several businesses and corporate entities who appreciate the many valuable activities of the Chamber have decided to join the membership of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. This really, as the Chairman of Membership has said, is a very strategic decision and it will add value to your businesses and your companies. I am aware that you have been duly briefed by the Membership and Welfare Committee under the able leadership of a Vice President of the Chamber, Mrs. Mujisola Bakari, on the activities and operations of the various organs of the Chamber. So I therefore do not need to repeat them in this address. Nevertheless, please let me emphasize that the overarching objective of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which guides all our activities and projects, it's encapsulated in our mission statement, which is to promote and protect the interests of our members and the business community at large through public policy advocacy, creation and facilitation of commercial and industrial opportunities, the provision of business development services and observation of the highest standards of business ethics. As we formally accept your organization into the LCCI community today, I wish to underline the commitment of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry to the cherished tradition of high ethical standards, integrity, and good corporate governance in business practice. As businesses or as businessmen and women in the business community, we have obligations which transcend profit making. We should pay adequate attention to the integrity of our business transactions and practices. I urge you all to be committed to the ideals of high ethical standards and responsible corporate citizenships. Indeed, the Chamber has a code of business ethics to which all members must subscribe. These are challenging times that we are in as the world faces the COVID-19 pandemic and its attending devastating effects on the health of the people and the economies of countries. As always, our chamber stands strong, intervening on behalf of its members with regards to policy and other initiatives and palliatives to support businesses through this pandemic. Together, we will pull through. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry has come a long way to build its highly reputable profile and credibility through its vision, selfless services, and integrity of its illustrious founding fathers and their worthy successors. It therefore behoves us as inheritors of this goodwill and enduring legacy to keep the flag flying always. I enjoin you to participate actively in all of the Chamber's activities, as this will position your businesses to enjoy the tremendous benefits of membership of our Chamber. Once again, I congratulate you all on being at this induction ceremony of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I wish you further successes and prosperity in the years ahead. And I welcome you to the ceremony. I thank you very much for your attention and very much for being here. I'm done, Jackie.
thank you very much, Madam President, for the remarks. Um, right now, what is next is to have the chairperson of the Membership and Welfare Committee, uh, Mrs. Mujisana Bakare, come to present the new members to the House and also to Madam President. Over to you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you very much. I hereby present the new members to be inducted this morning to the President and Chairman of Council, Mrs. Toki Mabugunje. Number one, Air Liquid Nigeria PLC. Number two, Association of Elite Travelers of Nigeria. Number three, Golden Horn Universal Resources Limited. Number four, KCSSA West Africa Limited. Number five, Med Heights Pharmacy Limited. Number six, Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria. Number seven, Ruyat Oil Limited. Number eight, Seven Uko Gas Limited. Number nine, Swedish Machinery and Truck SMT Nigeria Limited. Number 10, Adroit Advisors. Number 11, DKK and Associates Limited. Number 12, DLK and Sons Enterprises. Number 13, Headway Micro Bank, Microfinance Bank Limited. No. Number 14, Max Last Mile Delivery Services Limited. Number 15, Sharif Deputies Limited. Number 16, Selling Drugs Limited. Number 17, The Workplace Center Limited. Number 18, Welbeck Electricity Distribution Limited. Number 19, Ade Brand Ventures Limited, number 20, AppView Investment Limited, number 21, ASL Business Solutions Limited, number 22, Cat Deals, Cat Deals Inc. Limited, number 23, Dulux Chemical Industrial Limited, number 24, Dazzle Puzzle Nigeria Limited, number 25, Dot Com Ventures. Number 26, Eagle Vision Eye Care Center. Number 27, Gracious Travels and Tours Limited. Number 28, Investment One, Vencap. Number 29, Ishola Packaging Enterprises. Number 30, Marine Gates Limited. Number 31, MD Perspective Nigeria Limited. Number 32, OM Associates. Number 33, Olamide Yabodi, Amisu Trading Stores. Number 34, Premier Medical Systems Nigeria Limited. Number 35, Said and Abbey Ventures. Number 36, Tukria International Limited. Number 37, Unite Integrated Nigeria Limited. Number 38, Aribagbo Galleria Limited. Number 39, Bella Maria Travels and Tours Limited. Number 40, Blancon Limited. Number 41, Complex Consult Limited. Number 42, Diesel Zia Nigeria Limited. That's Diesel Zia Nigeria Limited. I beg your pardon. Number 43, Escalante Synergy Limited. Number 44, Excel Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited. Number 45, FBG Foods Limited. Number 46, FC Exports Nigeria Limited. Number 47, God's Will John Nigeria Enterprise, Enterprises. Number 48, Onidam Ventures. Number 49, Car Springs Concept Company. Number 50, Pegat Industries Limited. Number 51, Magnolia Farms Limited. Number 52, Marble Act Associates Limited. Number 53, Matron International Business Limited. Number 54, Moran If Investment Nigeria Limited. Number 55, Miles Global Limited. Number 56, Oluwashem and Dream Enterprises. Number 57, Rodon Global Nigeria Limited. Number 58, Sidago Global Limited. Number 59, Setex 
Eat Investment Limited. That's Satex Investment Limited. Number 60, Swen Consulting and Supply Services. Number 61, Sofabic Nigeria Enterprises. Number 62, United Auction Houses Limited. We also have a list of mentees to be inducted today. Number one on the list of the mentees, Amor Regno Global Enterprises. Number two, Awele Bath and Body Works. Number three, Cities and Hinterland Properties and Facilities Limited. Number four, the Barge Designs. Number five, JFA Creations. Number six, Gisubal Ventures. Number seven, Carrefourel Medicals. Number eight, Make Embellishments. Number nine, Olo Konimi Supplies. I beg your pardon, Olo Konimi Supplies. Number 10, Obi Homes Beauty Shop. Number 11, Petals and Ribbons Event. Number 12, San Calypso Couture International. Number 13, Tiana's FE Limited. Madam President and Chairman of Council, I present these new members for appropriate induction this morning. Thank you very much, ma'am. Vice President Back. Thank you very much. Thank you so um, much. Madam Chairperson. Um, it's a, it's a... Go on, Chegun, you had something to say. Go on. Oh, okay. Um, thank you very much, Madam Chairperson, for the presentation that you have just made. Um, next, it's my pleasure to invite the president to formally admit the new members into the Hall of Fame of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry as members. Madam President, over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much, CCM. Um, I'm always very pleased each time we have an induction ceremony such as this, because what it says to me is that the numbers in our membership are growing, and as the numbers in our membership grow, the voice of the pro private sector gets louder. The reach of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce across sectors becomes longer and deeper. So I welcome you all. But in particular, for our new members who don't yet know the value of the mentees, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce has been paying it forward and for over eight years has run a mentoring program. And as they graduate this program, they enter into what we call the mentoring alumni. So every time a group from that alumni step up to join the full body of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, it pleases us greatly. So I especially welcome the mentee alumni who are joining us today. And now for the induction itself. As the 23rd president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and by the powers conferred on me by the council and the provisions of the memo and articles of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, it is my pleasure to induct you into the membership of our 132-year-old Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. This chamber is the oldest in Nigeria and the West African sub-region, and the second oldest chamber in Sub-Saharan Africa. We are a foremost leading business association on the African continent. I enjoin you all to be good ambassadors of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I urge you to uphold the code of ethics of ownership as the service and industry will work with you to ensure the advancement of your businesses. Congratulations and welcome to the LCCI.
Thank you, Madam President. A big congratulations to all the newly inducted members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. It is heartwarming to see you join the movement in the pursuit of the advocacy for the development and the growth of the Nigerian economy. Once again, on behalf of the President, you are welcome to the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. This indeed is an epoch-making and history-making event. The Chamber has finally adapted to the new normal, which is leveraging technology to the development of the business community and the Nigerian economy at large. Once again, I welcome you to the Labor of Commerce and Industry. Next, I would like to invite the Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Muda Yusu, to move the vote of thanks. PG, over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Shekun. Uh, first, let me express, uh, on behalf of all of us present here, to express our profound appreciation to the President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, this is Toki Mabogunde, for playing this very important role today of adopting new members into our great chamber. Uh, let me also thank our Deputy President, Mr. Knut Ruben, MFR, uh, for his presence. I thank the Vice President, this is Mojisho Labakare, another Vice President here present. I express our appreciation to all council members who are present at this induction ceremony. Uh, and finally, I'd like to thank all the new members and also congratulate them and to assure them that the chamber is here to give them all the necessary support to make sure that their businesses prosper. Uh, these are very challenging times, as the president has said. And if there is any time that you need a body like the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we believe it is now. Uh, we work through our various sectoral groups, we work through the uh, various officers, and through that you can you know, put issues on the table. Let us know how we can bring value to your business, you know, in whatever, in whatever uh, shape or, or form. Uh, we don't claim that you can solve all problems. But we'll do our best to assist you to navigate you know, whatever uh, challenges you have in the business environment to provide you with information, to support you with advocacy, to get you I mean, in touch with the regulatory agencies, to intervene on policy issues and regulatory issues as well. So once again, I'd like to welcome our new members and to congratulate them. I thank you all for being part of this very important occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, the Director General, Dr. Mubari Stu, for moving the vote of thanks. And um, before we call it a day, I would like to use this medium to urge all the newly are you, are you inducted the members, all the newly inducted members of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, to please follow the Chamber on our social oh, media handles because that is the new normal we now operate um, basically on social media um, that is where the future is and that is where the chamber is operating right now so we urge you to please join us uh, um, online on our twitter handle at lagos chamber on our face on, on our facebook at lagos chamber as well and also on instagram at Lagos Chamber 88. So we would love to have a conversation and interaction with you. And on behalf of the President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mrs. Toki Mabogunje, I want to say a very big thank you for joining and being part of this epoch-making event, the first of its kind in the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the first ever virtual members induction ceremony. Yeah, Shego, I haven't said that. Shego, before yes, you sir. round up, uh, finally, let me recognize uh, 
Deputy President Ashwaju Makelola Aleko. You don't see him on the screen now. Uh, oh, great to have you, sir. Deputy President, uh, we thank you for being part of this event. Thank you very much. Sir. And Shagun, we thank you also for being the master of ceremony at this event. Ceremony. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very man. much, Madam thank President. You. Always my pleasure to do the honors. And having said all that, we have come to the end of the first ever virtual induction ceremony of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this. God bless you. Amen. Wow. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you, everybody. To like Thank you to the president and the management. We really appreciate you. Congratulations, congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations to Thank you for inducting my mom, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. We appreciate all of you. God bless you. Check, we are the refreshments. I want my refreshments. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. Because it is virtual. Technology saves. Send it now. Send the refreshments. Say the refreshment. Technology saves cost. It saves time. It saves energy. Technology <laughs> is the new mama. Saves money. Too. Saves the checks. Yes, saves money. Saves the Thank you, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Appreciation, sir. Congratulations to the mama team. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Uh.